tight spot. See that it slowly blocks in all the way around, and there's no spreading it apart. So what we're going to do, we're going to unsweat this nicely right here, and we're going to drop it. We're going to unsweat this, pull it out, we're going to unsweat this, and pull it out. This is a low spot right here, this is the chiller. So we probably have oil down in this line down here. And that's dangerous. But this line over here, I've got a vent right here, so it's not gonna build up any pressure. I have a vent up here on the suction. That's not gonna let it build up pressure. So this is the liquid line. This is the suction line. Both have an open vent. And we're going to take this valve out. And we're going to install this valve. So what we're going to do, always have a vent. And since this line here might be full of oil, I'm going to go ahead and make a cut right here. Right next to the well. When I unsweat it and I go to put the new valve in, then I can go ahead and just weld the cut up. But at least I know there's no oil in the system, no oil in the valve, and I'm not going to get any flare up. So I'm going to make a cut here and I'm going to drain it a little bit. So I have a hole, I have it cut right here. No oil draining out. No pressure, we're good to go. You can see I have everything covered up. I've got a valve under here, I got covered up. I've got a piece of ice on it to keep it wet. I've got a cable under here, I got covered up with a piece of ice on it. And I'm gonna cover that up right there so it doesn't burn. Then we go to start welding this thing. These cables here need to be buried under a, a rag that's wet also. So I'm gonna get that all covered up. So let me get it set up. that I'm sweating right there. This valve is no good so I don't care if I burn it. I cut the power head but we don't have that power head right there blow up on me. We got no pressure on it. So I'll move that up on the way. Now I'm going to go ahead and unsweat this and now I'm going to work on this right here. Okay, so we have it. We have it unsweated right here, unsweated here, got a 90 out of here, power head right here, we have this one weld right here to uh, take off and the valve will come off. I always leave this for last because it holds the valve for you while you're working on it. So now I'll go ahead and unsweat this and this will be the first weld I make. This weld right here will be the last weld I just undo because it holds the valve for me. That'll be the first weld I make because it'll hold the valve for me when I'm setting it up to put it on here. So now let's get the new valve in place and uh, start fitting it up. This valve here is 7-8. That's engine one. I hopefully have a bushing for that. We'll have to take a look. Okay, the valve is out of the way. This is our new valve. We're gonna make this weld first. That'll be our first weld right there. And that'll hold our valve for us while we're working with it. Okay, so we're gonna carefully wrap this valve. Wet cloth, we're especially going to protect the power head. And it's got a refrigerant charge in it. If it gets too hot, that thing will explode and that copper will whip around and cut and break shit. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this baby up and we can make our first weld. So I uh, use these blue towels and I'll cut up strips. I'll take one towel, cut up strips, and wrap it around it like that. And now we'll go ahead and we'll wrap this thing here. 
Okay, so we have our first weld made right here. Good to go. Always use a mirror. Looks like a good weld. Always use a mirror. That's a good solid weld. Now our valve is being held in place so we can move it around and manipulate it and put it in place. Let's go ahead and start fitting it up. So there's our weld done. I used a rosebud. A rosebud for most of the leak. For most of the I used a rosebud for this weld almost all the way around. And then I have my special tip here, which I have annealed it, which means I heated it up and it made the copper soft so I can bend it. So I can get around the corner back here. And that's the only way I was able to finish it. And I'm able to get up underneath it this way. And with that bend in it, it allows it to go all the way around. So that weld is complete. We'll work on that side over there. And I've been taking pieces of that ice and just putting it right on the pipe there to keep it cool. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the next section over here. There's our valve welded in place. We have this here, we have a weld there, weld up here, see how the valve is nicely wrapped, kept cool. You can put a little piece of ice on it, keep it cooler. in place, but it's lunchtime, so it's time to eat. Make sure that you finish the job and repair your insulation. Got some glue, got some Armaflex tape, we'll put it together and fix it. 